Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create GTA intro in your video using Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about editing in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as GTA intro. Click OK. We will bring our stock footage onto our project panel. Drag it and place it on our sequence to create a new sequence. Here we have this car footage. We will use this footage to create our GTA intro. First we will create that color theme same as GTA. I'm doing this for the tutorial purpose. You can ignore this color if you want. Go to this icon and select color matte. We will use the same settings as our project. Click OK. I will choose that orange like color for that GTA theme. I will name it as orange. Click OK. Now take the color mat from the project and place it on top of our video layer. In the effects control panel, we will change the blend mode to overlay. As you see our color is too strong on our video, we will decrease the opacity to 65%. That looks good. You can see the before and after since we added our orange color. Select both the layer and right click on it. Click on the nest. Click OK. We now grouped our two layer into one. Let's start creating that intro shapes. Select our layer and hold out on your keyboard. Drag this layer upward to create a duplicate layer. Again do the same and again. We will have four video layers. Right click on the video that have our audio linked. And select unlink. Now we can edit our video and audio separately. Select the second layer and take the pen tool in effects control panel. Start making shapes that are like in GTA. You can see after we joined our line, nothing happens. If I hide all the layers except this one. You can see the mask. Because of the mask that we created our video will be only visible on the inside of the mask. Our mask edges are too light, we will decrease the mask feather to 2. Now that looks perfect, we will do the same to our third and fourth layer. Select the third layer. Take the pen tool in the effects control panel and make an another shape next to our previous one. Join the line. Now unhide the layer and see the magic. That looks good. We now created a mask for our third video. Again change the feather to 2 in the effects control. Now select the fourth layer and make shape on it again. Decrease the feather to 2 and unhide our video layer. That looks good. We can adjust the mask whenever we want, just drag it to the place that you want. Drag this little closer to get the continuity. 
you can adjust the mask of any layer at any time, you don't have to worry about that, drag this point a little closer. Now that looks good. Select the first layer and again create shape mask by using the pen tool. Unhide it. We will bring it little closer to our fourth shape. Change the feather to 2. That looks perfect. Let's play it. That looks good. We now created our GTA shape mask. Now let's animate it. Our first layer is the fourth mask, we will leave it for now. Select the second layer and trim it 10 frames. Now select the third layer and trim it 10 frames from the second layer. Trim the layers like a stairs. Now because of our first layer is the last shape mask, we will trim it 10 frames right behind our fourth layer. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks perfect. We now animated our shape mask without keyframing anything. Because our layers are trimmed 10 frames per layer, our video looks animated. We can't leave our video like this in our mask, till the end. We have to make an intro to our footage, for that we will animate our first layer. Place the indicator where you want to give that intro in point. I will place it here. Go to Effects Control Panel, Keyframe the Mask Path. Take the indicator 15 frames to the right. Select the mask and use the mask points to expand it out of our screen. Like this. That's perfect. Now let's play it and see the final result. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect GTA intro on our video. You can see that our first layer expands and connects with other layers and it looks good. Now we know how to create that smooth GTA intro animation in your video. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more tutorials. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.